Silent Hill was a franchise that I love. The atmosphere, the way the camera was positioned, but no game decided to take inspiration until now. Tormented Souls, a game where you are in an abandoned mansion and can sometimes visit the other world. But this game's story is very sinister. It was a normal day. The birds were chirping. The sun was shining so bright. Today seemed like it was going to be a good day. Our doorbell rang, and we received a letter. A letter for me? I never receive letters. It said, From John Doe, Wildberg Hospital, Winter Lake, Blackwood Island, Canada to Caroline Walker, 578 Rain Street, Cape Bell River, Canada. We opened the envelope, and it was a picture of two little girls. And on the back of the photo, it says, Two weeks later, we have not been fine, and we haven't been getting much sleep. And if we do sleep, it's nightmares. We've been having painful headaches. This all drives our character to go check out what's going on in that hospital. We wake up in a bathtub, naked, and a tube in our mouth. We feel violated, and the thought of someone undressing us and putting us in a bathtub sends so many things in our mind. We quickly put our clothes on and explore the room. We walk up to the mirror and notice one of our eyes is covered with a bandage. We work up the courage to remove the bandages to find one of our eyes missing. Now personally, whoever ripped my eye out is going to get their butt kick. I'm not the next Nick Fury, and I know for a fact it's not me. Exploring more of the lovely restroom, we found a journal saying, Today is the happiest day of my life. After all the suffering we have endured the past few years, Maria, my beloved wife, has blessed me with two beautiful angels. But there is more. After all this time, she has returned to me. She looked at me with her eyes wide, as if she had not seen me in years, like she was waking up from a dream. That is not all. Something odd happened when I checked my watch to find the exact time at which the first baby, Emma, was born. As I opened the lid, the glass cracked and the hands utterly stopped. I do not think this event to have some meaning or other. I'm not a superstitious man, but Maria insists that it is a sign. She has started using the hours as her lucky number and uses it for everything. The journal seems to be talking about the birth of the little girls who we're looking for. We know now that one of the little girls' name is Emma. We decided to exit out of the restroom because it stinks in there and found a baby holding a lighter. What are you buying? We question on who set that up and why is everything looking so destroyed? We found another paper, saying, According to the latest archaeological discoveries on Winter Lake Island, the Tismuit tribe resided on the island for more than 500 years before being discovered by European settlers. Proof of this is an ancient underground cemetery found deep inside a cavern on the island's shore dating from the 10th century. More than 286 skeletons belonging to 10-year-old children have been unearthed so far in the underground cemetery. All the bones were buried in pairs, and experts suspect that these were twins buried together. Something tells me, by reading that letter, there might be a chance that these two little girls are going to be killed. But why? I wonder. Either way, we have to rush and find these little girls. We then continued to explore this terrifying hospital until we found an old magnetophone. Now, if you play the original Resident Evil, this is already giving you flashbacks. 
This is where we save the game and that we need to film reels to in order to save. This game in general takes a lot of inspiration from old classic horror games and the way the cameras are positioned is like a work of art and makes me feel like I'm in a movie. Anyways, we continue to explore. Whoa. Coming. We quickly ran and entered the closest door. Hey, what's up guys? Make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy my content. Also, if you like beauty products, make sure to check out this sweet stuff. Links are going to be down in the description. And use ThySlay15 for a 15% discount when you're ready to check out. Now, let's get back into the video. We found someone here, but the dialogue becomes interesting. The priest said that we've been here before, and only a couple days ago. Is our main character memory just bad? Or maybe we have a twin sister? Who knows? Oh, it's you. Don't you remember me? I'm the town priest. We met here in the chapel only a couple of days ago. What? What? I'm sorry. I don't remember you. I certainly don't remember coming here before. I see. Perhaps I'm mistaken. I'm old and get confused every now and again. What is going on here, Father? Where is everybody? The priest gave us an amazing weapon to defend ourselves from the monster that is waiting for us. We wonder as we journey off on how is the priest really going to defend himself. He might actually end up wounded if he isn't careful. We found another diary and it said, Today is one of the happiest days of my life. William came running into the room, searching for something. His eyes traveled around the room, giving me no more than a few seconds of attention. But then he looked at me again, his eyes open wide. William came to me and put a hand on my forehead. He pressed his fingers into my wrist and looked at me for a few seconds, unbelieving. His voice faltered when he spoke. We are gonna have a baby, he said. I felt sick. William took the rest of the day off. He acted like a child, laughing and speaking of the future, holding my hand the whole time. That night, we heard a noise coming from underground. It sounded like metal being struck over and over. We could not find sleep until early morning. Another piece of the lore? Another breadcrumb to possibly follow? We entered the generator room and turned on the power like it was Call of Duty Zombies. Move, move, move you fat ass! Tying, 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 tying. Now it was time to put my gamer face on and take out that monster. Ah, ah, oh my god! Oh, I am doing my best to hold it together right now. I started to get back to exploring the hospital, where I then stumble upon a room titled Maternity Ward. In front of me was another journal with some blood on it. The nurses told me that a lamp was malfunctioning in the maternity ward. When I turned on the lights, I could see that one of the bulbs in the wall was indeed flickering. As I was getting ready to change it, a man came out of nowhere and grabbed me by the shoulders, pushing me back with strength unimaginable for someone his age. He told me not to touch it. I didn't want to argue with him, so I simply left. I can't stop thinking about it. Why did the old man prevent me from touching it? I should check it out. Was this journal a key to a puzzle? Or was it a warning for us? Who knows? Exploring the room, we see a corpse with their chest open, like a taco. That's when we discover a ladder leading down. The bumps on my arms started to appear. There, in front of me, was a mirror. I decided to light up the candle.
Yeah, I wasn't phased, as you guys can tell. I I'm just a straight thug. <laughs> We slowly enter the mirror, reaching the other world. Going into the other world, we climb up the ladder and see the room that looks a lot like our world, but this version is like abandoned. Here we see a monster with no legs, almost like this world is just as messed up as our world. In the same spot we see the corpse from the other realm, we see a baby doll that replaces it. We decide to put a toy heart into the baby doll. <coughs> Wondering what that did. In our world, we notice the corpse's chest is close up, we decide to shock her, and that's when she opens her hand, giving us a tea handle. When we exit out of the room and search for where the tea handle goes to, the woman screamed. The corpse that was once dead seemed to be resurrected. When we enter back in that room, she's gone. Where does she go? Who? Knows. Once we figure out where the tea handle goes, that's when we enter the main hall, giving me the same feeling as Resident Evil 2 RPT building or like Resident Evil 1's mansion. There were so many rooms to explore and so many things to do, like one thing we can all do right now is subscribe to this channel and or check out my other channel. Anyways, exploring more of this hospital, I found knights that looked like they were having a seizure. I then found another weird, disgusting creature. Like at all, bro. Whoa, what is these creatures, bro? But nothing was giving me answers to where the two little girls are located at. All I found was more puzzles and more questions. This place is like no other. I always kept praying that there would be no more monsters, but every room I enter in, I find another horrible creature waiting for me. That's when I found a smashed statue of Jesus. It made me ask myself, where is that town priest? I asked myself, if he's doing okay. I hope he is. I actually got really lost to where I was going. I started to feel like I was going in circles. <laughs> That's when I found a door where I could put a knocker on it. Putting the correct knocks allowed me to enter the room, which was the library. That's when I found a newspaper saying, Yesterday afternoon, a terrible event occurred within the Wildberger Mansion, more commonly known as Wildberger Hospital. Staff reported the disappearance of Dr. William Wildberger's daughters, Anna and Emma Wildberger. The police tried to interrogate Maria Morissette, the children's mother, who was found in a medically induced coma. Her doctors stated that the unknown illness the woman is suffering from caused the coma. Dr. Wildberger is currently away on travel. As this report is being written, crews continue to search the areas near mansion. Our sources have informed us that frogmen are on their way to assist the search on the beach and rocky areas. But that's not all that I found. I found a painting with writing on it, saying the ones that will awaken the devil are ready for their operation. It seems like some surgical procedure is going to be taking place if I don't find these little girls soon. Something awful is going to happen. That's when I enter the dining room and found a book saying, After the tragic death of Father Francisco, my father was transferred to town to take over his position. He is staying with us at the mansion. I'm sure William's father is happy to have him here. They still have an unfinished chess match. I enjoy his company, even if William and him never get along. At least he did not deny him a greeting, even a cold one, which my father received with a resigned smile after William appeared at the front door. Exploring more of the dining room, I found the priest again, enjoying some soup. I decided to talk to him because in all reality, it's comforting that he is here. 
Ah, we meet again. Father, what are you doing here? Don't you see, child? I am eating some soup. God feeds my spirit, but I have to take care of my body. Oh my, what is this doing in my soup? Get rid of this thing, would you? I found some information about the twins. I think someone means to perform surgery on them. I see. There is an operating room on the West Wing. Who would do such a thing? I don't know, but I'm going to find out. There, we receive a bolt. What do we use it for? But we're going to have to wait until next time to figure out what's going on here. Like I say always, folks, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you stay tuned. What happens next?